Hi and welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. My name is Tom. Filling in for Greg today, he's out buying cars. Today we have a beautiful 1978 Lincoln Town Coupe. Absolutely beautiful, 8,000 mile car guys. We find the cream of the crop as you can see. Beautiful chrome, it was very well preserved. The paint is absolutely beautiful on it. Um, usually the paint starts checking. This is really shiny here. Um, with very few imperfections that I could find on it. Um, it's got the cool Lincoln wheels on it. The body's absolutely gorgeous, straight down. Original paint on it as well. Check out this interior. It's like sitting in your living room couch. Talk about a land yacht. Beautiful white leather interior. You can tell by the leather, the car's barely been sat in. The back seat looks brand new. I remember growing up riding around in these. What a cool ride. It's got an eight track player, cruise control, AC, 8,000 miles. That's pretty sweet. Remember, we are non consignment, so we always find the cream of the crop. Check out the vinyl top. Absolutely beautiful. Let's open up the trunk. Check out this trunk, absolutely marvelous. You could put uh, quite a few sets of golf clubs in there. Nothing like the sound of the old trunks and doors shutting. On the passenger side, same thing. Um, don't even see any dings on this car. Usually sitting in the garage, I always got dings, but this one doesn't. Passenger side, absolutely beautiful. We're located right here in Plymouth, Michigan, the Motor City. We're open from 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, Saturday 9 to 3, and I can be reached seven days a week at 248-974-9513. So if you're sitting around on a Sunday you want to buy a car, give me a call. 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales park your dream in your driveway. All right, guys, let's go for a ride in this beauty. <clears throat> 1978 Lincoln Town Coupe, 8,700 miles. This is like a time warp right here. Absolutely phenomenal riding car. Um, the interior is absolutely beautiful. The dash looks brand new. It's got um, the heater controls here. You got your antenna up and down. What's really cool are these windows too. Check out how the windows go down. First the corner and then the big window and then they go back up the same way. The big one goes up and then the little one, pretty sweet. And they go up quick too, usually they don't in these older cars. Absolutely beautiful car though. Um, no complaints on my end. I feel like I'm sitting in my living room watching TV. Don't forget at Vanguard we're non-consignment. So every car's here because we've inspected it and we wanted it here in our dealership. We make buying a classic car very easy. You know, some of you ever gone out and bought a classic car before and get them back and put thousands of dollars into them. We take the worry out of that for you. We're, we're your eyes, ears, and hands, because we take care of everything. Remember, we're available seven days a week by phone at 248-974. 9513 and our dealership is open from 8 to 5 Monday through Friday Saturday 9 to 3 so if you want to come out and visit us we can even pick you up from the airport I feel like I'm floating I'm ready to take off to California in this bad boy
check out the distance on that hood. It looks like we, uh, we're driving a boat. But anyways, uh, here's our shop located right here in Plymouth, Michigan, in the Motor City at 15100 Keel. We have two buildings. This is one of our buildings. And uh, we'd love to have you. So give us a call and come out and see us. We're going to get this baby up on the lift, show you the underside. All right, guys, uh, out there in YouTube land, unfortunately, Greg is uh, out of the shop here for the end of this video. It took us a second to find a hoy space with all the cars we've got, so uh, I'll have to finish this one up for you guys. Uh, underneath this uh, Lincoln, you can tell it has been freshened up just a little bit, but more or less, it's all just preservation. It's all good for the car. And one thing I'd like to point out is the floorboards on this thing. I like to see all the definition. I don't see any pitting or anything like that from all the rust or you know, any rust that would be here. Um, it's all very nice and crisp. All of our body lines are nice and stamped in there. Very, 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 you know, preserved, I should say. So overall, very, very nice here. You can see our drop downs on either side are in excellent shape. This is a prop, uh, popular spot for them to start to rot. You can see all the factory sealer and all that hasn't been disturbed or anything like that, so which is all nice to see. Uh, back side of our bumper here looks good. I'm seeing date codes everywhere on this thing, which is a really cool thing. Uh, moving forward of all of that, now the fuel system on this car you're going to see has had a couple little things to, done to it. I do believe this is a replacement tank. It would really surprise me that this tank looks that good over the years. But uh, overall, I do believe it to be a replacement tank in the thing. It does look like the uh, fuel line has been replaced as well. Original sending unit though. Um, all of our bushings here that attach to our uh, Ford 9-inch all look like they're in excellent shape. Uh, something to be said about the 9-inch itself is uh, I do believe this is the original rear end for the car with uh, you know just over, uh, I think it's... Just under 9,000 miles, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know, no big surprise, of course. Now, um, date code does line up. It is a 250 to 1 gear ratio in this thing, which means it cruises right down the freeway, nice low RPMs. And uh, open differential, if I'm not mistaken, I am indeed correct. Drum brakes on either side of it. Another cool thing to be said about the brakes, we got like Ford stampings all over, all over the uh, backing plates, the original bell style, uh, drums. And of course, we will get in here, we'll check it, make sure the wheel cylinders are still good. They very well, very well may need to be replaced. That's a popular thing to go on them. But uh, that's all stuff that we check out here at Vanguard. Um, moving forward of all of that, floor ports could, uh, continue to look good all the way up here. You can see all the factory stampings and whatnot. All of it looks excellent. Once again, present or, uh, preservation with the paint that we have on it. Now, something else I'd like to point out, the exhaust that uh, is on this car right now is a replacement exhaust. As you can see, very fresh exhaust. Brand new stock uh, style muffler going all the way back. Does have a second muffler up there. Moving forward of all of that, drive shaft looking good. Uh, comes into our uh, either side here, we comes into our cats. The original cats, everything from this part forward on this exhaust is original to the car. And something else that I really like to see on this is that it actually has the heat shield still on it. Um, you know, they had to take all this off here to put this exhaust on here, and this actually got kept with the car. A big pet peeve of mine is shops that, you know, are trying to do things quickly, they don't put them back on. Now, this is the numbers matching uh, C6 three-speed for the car. This is just what they came with, uh, three-speed automatic transmission. I can see the uh, casting clock here says 78, clear as day. Once again, very clean, easy to see all this stuff. Trans lines look to be original. Of course, you know, this car's a time capsule, no big surprise. Moving forward to that, this is the underside of our 460. Um, on either side of that, we have all of our suspension and whatnot, and it all looks like it's in pretty good shape. Original, of course, it doesn't look like anything's really been monkeyed with over the years. And you know what? To add credence to that, we even had the original shocks on this car, which is really, really cool. Um, I mean, you can see a uh, Ford part number on there, D8, which would be 1978, which you don't ever see, and it made in USA. Imagine that. Um, moving forward of all of that, sway bar bushings all look to be original, but in still pretty fair shape. The front ends on all of our cars get shaken down, and of course, uh, this being with as low miles as it is, it wouldn't surprise me that there'd be nothing wrong with it. Um, now, let's see here, the front of our cross member here, the secondary cross member, where the, uh, the strut bars go in, of course, that looks all like it's in good shape. Underside of our, uh, I, I guess this would be the underside of the core support, if you will. All that looks like in good shape. The lip up here, where like a lot of crap like to collect, all that's in beautiful shape on this thing. And another thing that I'd like to point out too, is if you look up down that frame rail right there, this is a popular spot for things to, to get up here. This is where the salt would collect here because we're here in Michigan and we're used to that sort of stuff. All of this is smooth all the way down through there. I mean, it doesn't look like it's ever been touched. The fuel line looks absolutely beautiful all the way down. Other side, your brake line, same thing, looks excellent shape. Parking brake, all that's here. I mean, I can't say enough about this car. Now, I did say that there are drums on the rear. There are discs on the front. You can see them through here. It looks to be the original discs for the car. Now, these tires here, I don't believe they're original to the car. They are a little bit older. Um, if, now, if you're a collector, 
Uh, these tires are just fine. If you're going to putz this car up at the ice cream store, these tires are just fine. If you plan on driving this thing to California, I would recommend replacing them. The size on them are, if I can find it now that I've talked about them, 225.15. Um, this would be a radial uh, tire. Now the rim is the original type rim for the car, the original rim for the car. You can see it's in excellent shape. And the back side of the thing, you can see it shining from the back side. It's in a really nice shape as well. Um, that all being said, let's take a look at the rear. While we're walking down, I would like to point out the pinch weld is in pretty good shape on this thing as well, which I'm really, really proud to say. Uh, you can see all your spot welds and whatnot too, which is really cool. That's all pretty honest on this car. Uh, moving forward with that, 225.15. Uh, once again, radial, uh, or there it says radial tire. Um, now back here we got our drums, our original type looking wheel overall. If you can take a look at the paint, all looks to be pretty original to the car. That's just how it was, nice, honest. Um, Pretty, pretty darn nice, guys. Even the trim and stuff like that, all that's nice and not all pitted up and dented and whatnot from rock chips. So overall, that all being said, let's go take a look at the 460 under the hood. All right, guys, under the hood, we do have a 460. This is the numbers matching 460 for the car. I actually cleaned the VIN code off so I could see it on the back of that cylinder head while I was underneath there to verify for you guys. Now, everywhere I'm looking on this thing, I'm seeing uh, stickers everywhere here. We got one right here for the, uh, the original sticker over here. We got one on this valve cover as well. We've got all the paint markings all over this thing. I mean, this is really a, just a good, honest engine bay. This hasn't been really monkeyed with too bad. I mean, and that's what I like to see on these cars. I'd like to see it uh, all to be original. Now, I've got, you know, Ford uh, stampings and whatnot on your power steering pulleys. I mean, all this stuff is original to the car. This is how it came. And even the vacuum harness, you know, because back... Uh, Back in the late 70s and 80s, vacuum harnesses were really popular, and a lot of the time they got monkeyed with, with and they never worked uh, properly ever since, but you can see here that this is all still here on this car, which is extremely cool, and I can't say enough about that, because it was, when they did come out with it, it was designed to work properly, and they did. Um, now, I had mentioned underneath that the uh, fuel system had been uh, you know, updated, or I shouldn't say updated, but had been uh, refurbished a little bit, because you know, the car probably has been sitting a little. So we do have, not the numbers matching carb, but the original type carburetor. It's a reman carb underneath this uh, air cleaner here. Um, and now if uh, I go any further than that, it looks like we get new fuel lines on it as well. The ignition system looks to be all original. We can see here we got the original coil, looks to be the original part number on that. As far as the brakes go, we do have a HydroBoost system, which is really cool. That's all run off of your power steering pump. All the vacuum lines look to be in place. I mean, all the uh, inner fenders and whatnot look like they're just nice, honest, original. I'm seeing like forward part numbers on all the hoses, at least the lower radiator hose. I mean, overall, very, very nice. A time capsule if I've ever seen it. Uh, we've got cruise control over there. Very, very cool, guys. So that all being said, if you'd like to uh, take this thing for a little cruise, hopefully it doesn't rock you to sleep, make sure to call Tom with the number below and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this Lincoln in your driveway.